No, no like, I do have other thing. I do have other rare things too, but they're probably not pieces of me. They're probably not things that you'd be readily familiar with. Most of them are occult books that had extremely limited and often handmade publication. I think I've like a, here before. Um, to yeah. give you an idea, I do have one book there that only here. eighty-eight copies of it exist in the world. Uh, the leather on it is blue and has no blemishes and is inlaid with twenty-four karat gold. Oh. It is Alistair Crowley's Heart of the Master. Oh, okay, that explains it. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like a nice one. I also got uh, Seven Spheres, if you're into Christian magic, because that one's actually a really bomb-ass one. I don't know how much that goes for now, but... Actually, wait, my some of my black magic books are actually quite expensive, too, actually. Because some of them are kind of obscure. One sec, let me it's see how much one of them... Yeah, awesome. I'm looking at... Oh, you go. No, sorry. Go on, go on. I was about to say, I'm looking at um, the Lego Toy Story uh, Woody's Roundup set for a brand new sealed copy. It's about, you know, $130. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's a lot Wait. of money. Okay, so I was looking because I am a bitch who is a fangirl, and I am... Oh, I, I'm glad I don't have the money for this, but Jesus Christ. Okay, so I would. This is one of the items that I wanted to get, which was the Saturation Trilogy fucking box set, and that shit costed like two hundred and fifty dollars plus six dollars and thirty four shipping, and I want it, but I know I don't have the money because I can't really get it for the past couple of years <laughs> since it's released. Come on, Galaxy, show us an image. Okay, so it's basically like a, I mean, if it's anyone else. It's a in Rock the Hampton chat. fucking box set, and I want it, but at the same uh... time, it's fucking expensive as fuck, and I want this. It's like the only one I could find at eBay at the moment, which is horrifying. That's it's a, a, that it's that is a not poop? the most expensive thing I've ever found on eBay, though. Yeah. Um... Who's <laughs> Rock Hampton? <laughs> Okay, Damn, so it's like, a band. Uh, it, it's a it's a boy band. It's of all things a boy band consisting of like nine, like actually fifteen members. Thirteen. Thirteen members who more who instead of being a typical boy band of singing about love and, sh and stuff, they sing about how much their lives have been struggling and the fact that half of them are gay. Nice. Yeah. Huh. So on a um... different subject. Uh, somebody was asking earlier why would I want to buy a Game Gear. Aside from the uh, novelty, I have somewhat of a respect for the uh, Game Gear for trying to go ahead of its time. And not to mention, there's actually a few good games you can get out of it. Um, I mean, that's understandable. Also, yeah. about, about the draining of the batteries, uh, there's two things. One... They have the, you can find a charger pack that can charge uh, your game gear without having to use any batteries. And two, if you say. <laughs> yeah, and two, you can mod it with an L uh, LCD because there's like modding with uh, various games where they use less battery uh, juice. Ye. and you have much better clarity in the screen. Battery I is understandable. I've thought about buying um, you know an old Game Boy or Game Boy Advance to you know just fully. And gets me to upgrade it just because it seems interesting. Like, mm -hmm. cause I, I never was, I never Same. had those consoles as a kid, and I'm like, that sounds really fun. It but at the same is. time, that's a, it's a lot yeah. of money to get a new, like a, a brand new Game Boy Advance is like two hundred, three hundred dollars. Okay, that is I'm, a, I'm just gonna that is say right now, money. if you're gonna, if you want to go for Please. the old retro hardware, don't, <laughs> don't, if I may finish. Sorry. Sorry. Anyways, Sorry. if you want to get into like collecting like old retro hardware just go for the used dead yeah. serious if you try to go for something fresh and new you're gonna you're gonna dry yourself out way too much yeah if you want to yeah. if you want to be a bit easier literally just buy a pi zero w for nine bucks and then oh, yeah. sure, retro pi os the, em sure, the emulation but... is obviously like the cheaper option <laughs> yes yeah. yeah, so the original hardware is nice right but Hold it can't on, be also want to do something what? Or mm -hmm. I was wrong. I don't know. Yeah, no, he already said his thing earlier. Oh, did he? Okay. Sorry. That's good. Um, no, yeah, no, nothing to beat that price. Never mind that 
Also reliability, and technically you you would also have greater customization too, because you can program it to register different hardware outputs. Like for instance, if you have DOSBox, you can give controller support to games that never had controller support. I can map Doom, Doom like an original copy of Doom to an Xbox controller, for instance, which like with the features in DOSBox. I do like original hardware stuff too, for sure. But as I'm finding out with an old PC that I have, um. It would probably Ow. benefit you to do some, uh, you might say, resto modding. Like, for instance, the, ID, the IDE drive in it, which is the old hard drive technology, it's not only very loud, but I'm pretty sure the one in there is corrupted. Which, it's an IDE drive, it's fragile, so why not just bring in so why not just replace it with an SSD, because you can actually do that. Um, just, uh, bring in some modern convenience, some modern yeah. convenience. You know what piece of gaming technology you need? Well, I need a graphics card to play Halo Infinite later, but yeah. Fuck the yeah. fucking Soldier Boy console, man. <laughs> oh, the yeah. Soldier game? Oh, we're gonna get a, we're gonna get fucking Soldier games up here. Hell yeah, Soldier uh, games. <laughs> we don't talk about Soldier Boy anymore. Oh, did I we just... we talk about the Soldier games. Ooh. I'm always thinking of the Soldier game. We never talk <laughs> about that shit. Thank you. Uh, Part of me wants to see huh? if I can find one that's actually like has the soldier game box, but like I know it'll be way too much fucking money. It's not worth I mean, shit. Oh yeah, I mean, it's, it's Garbo. It's literally. It's absolutely it's not even that. It's just. Sorry, was I a bit much? <laughs> what do you think? Maybe, uh, perhaps, sure. not really. Well, yeah. maybe. Who knows? Uh, I don't know. Chris, what oh, do you okay. know? Yeah, no, Riley. If I if I kick you out of the call, I mean it's it, yeah, it is an act of spite, but not in any like any attempt to Tool just like spite. kick. It, it's in a humorous. It, it's oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I that's... just I saw the whole thing with Flitter, and I was like worried for a sec. But yeah. I, yeah. Oh. I didn't hear anything. You're like, fine. Huh? Derek's like the soldier boys are not that good. Obviously, they're not. Did you, did but you hear... it's the same reason I like buying stupid things, cause it's Thanks. funny. Did you hear Dude. how fucking like Soldier Boy actually was in like Review Tech USA stream last night? Dude, I did not we, hear about that. Dude, re retro like Review Tech has talked a lot about either Soldier Boy, how much of a garbage uh, design the PS5 has been, and so forth. Uh, it's not really that he thinks it's a garbage design, he just thinks it's a little inconvenient uh, the way you can take off the flaps in order to access, like, the hard drive and shit. The better... Where most people will end up scratching <laughs> things. Yep. <coughs> Sorry. I cannot find a Soldier hey, game <coughs> on, on eBay. Um... Even, uh, like, from on my end, um... I guess the only like I usually don't try to go for buying like super pricey stuff because even though I'm a, I like to buy CDs and the like, I usually don't want to spend over a hundred bucks. But there is one thing that I kind of want to buy, which is, um, uh, which is um a, a box set from an artist called Depressed Times. They're a Dungeon Sith group, which Dungeon Sith for those who don't know is um ambient music, but in a dungeon setting. Basically, think of it as music you could play while you're doing a um, Dungeons & Dragons game. Ow! Ah, okay. Also, hey, so now this, Now, this box set, this is actually the first box set the, that they've ever, that has ever been released where the band, where the project's Fuck. demos, all their demos, all the famous ones, including their 1996 demo, which is often considered the best Dungeon Sith um, release ever made, is remastered oh. and all that shit. It also contains like a like a certificate. It contains a patch. It contains two amazing posters. It has a pin. It has an enamel pin. And I didn't realize they fucking released this last year. So by the time that I decided I want to get one, nope. Discog, the only place where you can buy it, overprices it. Nope. There's yeah. people selling it for like two hundred. There's one selling for like one twenty, and I'm tempted just to buy one, and I don't want to. Here's the thing, once something comes out about something being valuable and sold at a cheaper price, it's gonna go up in price. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. So, anybody who's directing it, anything, anybody to buy something for, like, super cheap, 
Uh, yeah, that's not gonna be cheap for long. Yeah. Yeah, no, unfortunately. Uh, Times it's like these a that grab while you can thing. Oh, I mean, where to go next? It's simple oh. economics, but yeah. I mean, yeah, it is simple, but there's also like there's a bit of a, a little bit of shade in that set economics. Oh and, no, I, I like I just I scalpers and how they've like. I was like, about to fucking say that word because <laughs> of what they've done with the fucking like consoles and then the fucking graphics cards and all that uh, shit. Ugh. Remember. It's it is morally justifiable to rob scalpers. Indeed. Indeed. No, it's morally justifiable to do almost anything imaginable, with the exception of murder. I mean, that's keep in mind we do not say this as a legal precedent. So do yeah, do not uh, cite us as you know your legal. <laughs> this We're is not just legal. us voicing an opinion. Yeah, yeah, it's more being cathartic. Yeah. I mean we. Do remember there was that one time that Scalper bought a shit ton of PS5s, acted like a complete dick, and what did the internet do? They doxed him. Yeah, yeah they, they yeah. fucking robbed his ass. <laughs> he had like a mountain of PS5s in his fucking garage, and he... <laughs> he, got, and he, fucking, he got his ass robbed of every single one of them. You know? That is... That there and laugh. That is top-notch karma. That is that is such karma. Oh it my is. God. Beautiful, sweet, sweet, beautiful karma. Remember, Mark. if you if you rob a scalper, you're not you're not evil. It's it's chaotic good if you rob a scalper. Yeah, no, if, if if in this particular sense, if you if you rob a scalper, then yeah, you um you're pretty much rob you you're pretty much Robin Hood. Yeah, pretty much. It's chaotic good to rob scalpers. Just remember that. You know, the whole, like, the funny thing is, is that scalpers claim that they were doing what Robin Hood would do. And I'm like, I no, you don't. Saw that, shit. that is no. literally the opposite of that what is doing. That is the fucking fuck Prince John, the phony king of England act. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah, like, you don't like know your fucking history if you're like, oh, yeah, I'm fucking doing what Robin Hood would do. I'm yeah, taking No, you're doing what Richard cheaper. the Second would do. You're paying the exactly. rich. <laughs> And then over, and then doubling the price for the poor. That's yeah. literally the exact yeah. opposite of what he did. You may have he heard. Stole, he stole from the rich and he gave for, to the poor. He didn't fucking buy from the rich and then sell it to the poor at twice the fucking price. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, hey, you know what he's saying? Today, what is the one year anniversary of retailers accidentally dropping the PS5 pre orders? early and us all realizing no one will ever get one of these fucking consoles ever yeah Thanks a lot. i should know my sister and my and my in-law tried to get one just for themselves and the minute when they tried the pre-order one it was all sold out yeah thanks i mean scalpers. like first i have been give trying them a for, refund. i've been trying for a year to order a ps5 it is just i i've fully accepted it's not happening like, uh, for another year or two. There's apparently uh, some stock bot on Twitter you can follow. Oh, I follow oh. the stock... Trust me. Trust me. I follow the stock bots. <coughs> it's, it's helpless. I thought it was muted. Oh. It's yeah. Okay. It's that okay? time. And honestly, it... Oh. Hey. Hey. I mean, keep in mind, there's also, like, a superconductor shortage right now, too. So oh, yeah. it's going to be a while till they're able to, like, really mass-produce things. Part right now are fucking hard to get by. Yeah. I'm just saying, it should not be this hard to to buy a console that has apparently sold 10 million units. Wait, is it super? Unless well, everyone just wants to keep theirs. Yeah, but it still should not be this hard. It's kind of like, okay. well, fac like, factor it in just for a little bit. Outside of hardware failures people breaking theirs and, you know, other shit that happens. Yeah, there's obviously less than 10 million now, but I have to wonder if the only ones still alive are the ones that were maintained by the people who actually gave a shit about it, and now are only kept by Hold people who give a shit about on. it. Hold the fuck on! Hold on. Hey, B. People are trying to sell the Pokemon Oreos on eBay for, like, 15 bucks. Why would you want to buy Oreos online? I mean, Just go to a store. Okay. Hey, if, if there's it. exclusive food that they're not selling anymore, it always sells high on eBay. Like, remember it when Echo Cooler, no, Echo Cooler it. came it's back gonna, and yeah. it sold for, like, a shit ton on eBay. Remember that? Oh, yeah, remember God. the fucking longest chicken nugget? <laughs> That's yeah, no, for that's... Like 10K. No, look at the fucking <laughs> shortage we've had with Pokemon cards recently. Like, yeah. Um, well, yeah, that makes sense, actually. 
Actually, yeah. the shortage on the shortage on cars, but cards, by the way, mm -hmm. actually partially has to do with the fact that people there were people doing too many card scams or stealing them, but the stores also don't make nearly a lot of money, so they were faced with, okay, too many people come to the bat, they steal all the magic Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and then um, they're like, well, we can't have people stealing from the store, but also at the same time, these don't make enough money for us to really give a shit about it. So they just, that's why you won't see, like, if you go to Walmart now, they don't have a card section anymore. Well, there so, was also the damn. fight that broke out. Yeah, where someone pulled a gun on a yeah. Target employee. Like, that's, what? that's why all the big ones... Did you never you hear, about, hear that? about that? I didn't so, hear about this. Fill me in. So, the reason why it. the big stores stopped carrying them was because, first of all, there was a shortage. Second of all, someone pulled a gun when there finally were cards, and no one wanted to deal with that. So all the Targets took them off, so then all the Walmarts took them off, so then all the everything else took them off. And then it just got really, really hard to find Pokemon cards to sell. Like... So it was Our just store? Pokemon that like, Yu-Gi-Oh like, took a hit no, too. All, yeah, all, took a hit. Cards. all the cards. Cards. They, we Target cannot find basically hockey cards. Yeah, Target was like, okay, we are tired because <laughs> like it was fights have been breaking out for like a couple weeks beforehand, and then one guy pulled a gun on a Target employee, and they were like, you know what? Fuck it. We're not stocking these anymore. We are done. Like so, all cards. You cannot buy trading cards at Target. 